Maybe you've found that you've been living on the hamster wheel in this consumer-driven society where you think that you need more to be enough, that having more will solve your problems. And a lot of that, almost all of that, if not all of that, comes from conditioning and programming, literally designed to make you think that you're not enough and to also keep you working and keeping you in the system of working harder so that you can have more. And I'm not saying you have to do what I did, which was sell almost all my things and move to another country and buy a van and live minimal. But I think that it is important for us to start thinking about what is really important. And this can be things, obviously, belongings, but also relationships and, you know, things that we invest our time in, like where, what's taking up space in your life? What little habits could be simplified so that they don't take so much time? I was thinking about um, my mosquito net <laughs> for my van, and I had this one that had magnets in it, and it just kept falling down. All these animals would take it down. I have two dogs and a cat living in my van right now. One dog is mine, Arlo, there, uh, and the cat, Kitty Cat. Where is she? Maybe I could show you. I don't know where she is right now. Uh, Duchess, she's probably gonna end up being my cat. And Zima, she is staying with me while on the farm because she and I are super bonded and she protects me in the farm, or the van and Arlo and the kitty. Not that it's needed, but just feels nice. And so I was thinking about this and it kept falling down. It was really hard to open and all these things. I was like, how much time am I spending a day on this? How many times, how much time a week am I spending on this? How much time a month? If I did this for years, how many, how long would I be doing this mosquito net for? I was like, wow, okay. This I can think about further and further. Like what are we doing that takes so much time away from just living our life that we can take, you know, make it simple. And for me, there was a solution to this. It's get a different mosquito net. And it was actually much cheaper. My mom got me the other one. It was like over a hundred dollars. This was like two euro. And so how can we simplify our life? But also looking at the things that you have, like I know that your mind tells you, you might need this one day, but you probably don't. If you haven't worn it for a year, if you haven't used it for a year, Maybe you don't need it anymore. Maybe you can gift it to somebody and gifting something that has all this value can be so hard for us sometimes. Not a lot of people. I know some really, really, really generous people and I've learned so much from them because that's that was not my natural default was like to give gifts of value. And so I had to work through my own money mindset and my own lack uh, mindset in order to realize that when you give, you make space to receive. It's all about space. And as soon as like you, you leave a job that's no longer serving you, you close that door, you have made space. And so the next opportunity will come in because you probably still have those programmings and beliefs that say, I am open to work, I work, right? It's I work. But if you start believing I close the door on this job and I'm never gonna get another job, you're never gonna get another job. You have, or it's gonna take some time because you'll have to program yourself to start knowing that it's possible for you. And so, What's taking up space in your life? What are you, you know, investing so much time and energy into that you don't need anymore? And maybe for you, you are also called to a nomadic lifestyle. Maybe you want to go small and you want to buy a van. Maybe you want to make an off-grid home or a tiny house or, you know, go live in a sailboat. Maybe you just want to declutter your house or your room because it makes such a difference. Maybe just reorganizing to after, or maybe just organizing, like getting things to organize what you have so that it doesn't feel so heavy. It's interesting, it's very, very interesting. Let me show you what I've done here on the farm <laughs> the past day. Um, so here's my van, love her, Sersha slash motherfucker. <laughs> Been through a lot with this van. I have created this area here. Uh, you know, it's not the most aesthetic thing because farm life, but I have a new freezer there, which I love. I'm using this stove and oven. Um, and then I have this table here now. One of the volunteers built this thing and donated his cushion so that there's a couch to sit here. And then the other day, this, maybe I can insert a clip, was chaotic. 
was chaotic. And the fact that it was so close to my van, I was like, I can feel this. And so I emptied it all out. I made a pile of plastic. I made a pile of metal and got some other stuff over there, which is necessary for our new internet system, which is gonna be great. Uh, and so this is so much better. And just getting things out has created such an interesting ripple effect. Like the more that we have cleaned, like we cleaned the feed room for the horses. If you don't know, I live on a horse farm in Italy right now. And uh, we were cleaning the feed room. It was a mess and it had gotten really bad. And so the volunteer who built the uh, couch there, he cleaned that place like to the T. Like it is so nice. And as soon as he did that, the dynamics within the team changed and you know it seemed like a lot came to the surface and a lot became clear and a lot shifted and so when we declutter get rid of clean up our space our life the things that are taking up energy and space within our being our outside perceived reality changes and so maybe you're ready to let go of what's not serving you anymore and maybe some things are coming to mind i want to really open the door for you to consider that it's not just belongings like it definitely can be and for all of us it applies we all have belongings but what in your mind like maybe you just need to write it down there's been something that's been really bothering me today some things that have been said by people and you know a way that i felt treated and so i was like okay i don't want to keep looping and looping and looping on these thoughts and so instead i was like let me just write them down so that i know my brain knows that it's there and that when it's time i can address it but i don't need to keep thinking it and vibrating at it and resonating at it and putting in my field and then attracting more of that energy i can write it down trust that it's there because it felt like my mind was repeating it so that i wouldn't forget it you know because it's like don't forget your boundaries your your worth your blah 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 and so maybe you just need to write it down or get clear or say it out loud, <laughs> say it to someone. Maybe there's a way that you're feeling and you need to say it to somebody to actually clear it up. And if you're speaking from the truth, from your heart, from how you're truly, truly, truly feeling, not how you're, you're triggered and unresolved and those things, but what is the root of it, you know? And sharing from that place of truth only things that are in alignment with your highest good will happen if you speak from your truth. I know it might be scary. It might change dynamics. It might change your relationship, your job, your living situation, your friendships, but that's okay. If you're speaking from the truth and it changes, it was meant to change. And if you're avoiding saying the truth and it stays the same, you're just going to waste time learning the same lesson over and over and over and over and over. And so set yourself free by making space within your being, within your space, within your field so that you can experience life at a more simple level. And when you're at a simple place, it's much easier to see what's truly meant for you. There's not all this clutter that's blocking you from seeing what's meant for you, the path that's meant for you, the life that's meant for you. It'll become so clear as you continue to open up the opportunity for it to be clear. So, with all that being said, I am getting ready. We are going to go celebrate with a couple here who did an engagement last night on the farm. Maybe I'll include video here. I think that's okay. Yeah, I'll include video here. We met them at the top of the hill after they went on a horse ride with the farm owner here. And it was a complete surprise for her. And it was such a beautiful experience to get to witness. And now we get to go celebrate at a local winery here and to really just have a good time with them and get to know our new volunteers. And it's a really, really fun life. And again, I am living in this because I made the space and I started to see clearly what I truly want. And I allowed life to guide me and to divinely inter, divine inter intervention happened uh, quite obviously. You know, if you were with me in Austria, and it brought me back here, but I can see so clearly now the messages and the guidance because of that experience. So that is what I have for you today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. If you want to leave a comment and you don't know what to say, you can say hello, Arlo. Sweet dreams, sweet puppy dreams. 
and I will see you in tomorrow's video. If you want to sign up for one of my programs, I have 21 days to rewire, rewire your mind, which is all about rewiring your mind, healing your nervous system, creating your chosen timeline, getting familiar with it and choosing it and moving into it. The other one is 21 days to know your divine guidance. That's all about going into your heart space, getting familiar with your angels and guides, identifying them, opening up that communication so that you can go into your heart, communicate with your angels and guides, your higher self, your intuition, and create a life from that space so it is truly authentic to you. And if you want to work one-on-one, -on -one, I have that option as well. So I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.